Hi there, welcome. My name is Jason, and the plant that I have to introduce to you today is called Epipremnum arium. This is also known as Pothos. And this plant is native to the tropical jungles of Malaysia. However, there are very, very many hybrids available nowadays. Uh, there are variegated hybrids, there are solid leaf hybrids, there are types of Pothos that like have like green and white and yellow splash like all over the leaves. It's Pretty awesome plant with a lot of diversity. Uh, this one right here is called the golden pothos and that's because of this like golden marbling on the green leaves and uh, the way this is growing, it's growing up a pole. Um, you'll often find this type of planting referred to as the pole of pothos. Um, this plant you can find it hanging in baskets. Some people like to prune it more to shape and have it growing more like a bush like out of a pot. Um, so it just depends on where you're displaying it. You have a lot of options. Um, as far as uh, choosing the location, this is an extremely adaptable plant. It is suitable for almost any lighting situation. Uh, the only one that you really, the pointer that you want to keep in mind is that you don't want this to be in full sun. Uh, you can have this in morning sun, but nothing past the morning. Um, beyond that, I mean, if you have like a darker or a less lit area, um, this plant will grow and thrive. Uh, if you have an office setting and all you have is like, fluorescent lights. I mean, this will grow in there. Um, it's a pretty adaptable plant, you know. Um, it's one of the more adaptable plants that are available. Um, so it's it's an awesome plant. I highly recommend this plant. Uh, as far as um, watering goes, you want to allow the soil to dry out about 50% in between waterings. You don't have to get it perfect. A way of gauging that uh, that, that I like to approach with is um, I like to, once I've watered it, um, I'll just give it a little lift or like a nudge, kind of like to get an idea of what the weight of the plant feels like when the soil is fully saturated. Uh, so when you come back, you'll know the difference. Um, you don't have to get the 50% drying out in between waterings perfect. Uh, that's just your aim. You really want the plant to be absorbing water um, before you water it again. So if you come back to water it and the soil is completely saturated, give it some time, let it absorb some of the water before you water it again. Um, it's very forgiving. Uh, just staying on the drier side is safer than staying on the wet side because the wet side uh, you can experience root rot. So um, to avoid that, uh, just you know, take it easy on the watering. Uh, especially in the winter, you're going to want to water this less if your house is cooler and it's winter right now, so I'm watering this a lot less. Um, as far as fertilizing goes, you want to fertilize this once to twice a month, spring through summer, with an all-purpose indoor plant fertilizer. Uh, you can also use an, um, an African violet fertilizer if you like as well. Um, usually indoor fertilizers are formulated with a level of acidity that's um, suitable for plants that like a slightly acidic pH in their potting medium, and that's what this plant desires. Um, I like to go and buy uh, a fertilizer called Indoor Organic, um, made by a company called Espoma. I like that they have a combination of bacteria that are formulated and put together um, specifically for houseplants. So it's something that I like, but almost any indoor fertilizer will do. Um, African violet fertilizer is nice too because it's an acidic, you know, uh, fertilizer. So it kind of like encourages that slightly acidic pH in the soil as well. Um, as far as uh, repotting, um, you'll want to repot this maybe every other year. Um, it's pretty much up to you. I wouldn't wait longer than two years in between repotting um, just because what that allows uh, this plant does like a level of being root-bound in the pot, but you do want to repot it because you want there to be airspace around the roots, and that um, that makes the potting medium a really healthy environment for the plant. Uh, and so when I go and um, select a pothos, I like to just keep it um, in the plastic pot that it came in because um, what that allows is for the plant to maintain a level of humidity that it likes. Um, it also gives you some flexibility in choosing your decorative pot of choice. I've often referred to this as the glorified saucer because um, there's no drainage in the bottom, but it's sealed. So if I filled this pot up with water, it, it wouldn't drain. Um, however, um, just for peace of mind, uh, I like to get a plastic saucer to put in the bottom as an extra safety. Um, they also have these nice little ridges there that kind of allow the water not to just sit on the base of the plant. It kind of elevates it to allow some air to circulate at the base. And these are so inexpensive. Um, so I put that in there and then just your plant. And um, with this potting situation, you can change up the pot to whatever you want. If you want to change the color later on or you get a new pot that's really nice and you want to put your plant in that. Um, it allows you a lot of flexibility. 
Uh, so that's what I recommend with that. As far as choosing, choosing your potting medium, um, I would use an indoor plant potting soil. Um, if you don't have that and you happen to have some succulent soil and some African violet soil, you can do two thirds succulent soil to one third African violet soil. That'd be a really great combo combination of potting soils for this plant. Um, however, once again, it's a forgiving plant. <laughs> as far as toxicity goes, um, this plant is, has been noted to have a medium toxicity. So it's an ornamental plant, it's not for eating. Uh, so just know that when considering this plant. Um, as far as fun facts about this plant, um, it's been noted also for its ability to reduce levels of formaldehyde in the air. So it's a clean air plant, which is pretty awesome. I, I think that's about it. Um, if there's any questions that you have about this plant, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. And thanks again for hanging out. My name is Jason.